Hey everybody, it's opening day for the New York Mets and City Field and we're here. Yeah. We're here. <laughs> Super early at a quarter to 10 in the morning. Gates don't open until 11.30, but we're gonna take a look around. Ten forty, gate time. Opening day. We'll head right into the team store. Oh, instantly packed. Oh, you gotta believe. Oh my goodness! It's a feeding frenzy in here. Good God! The line for the store goes all the way to the museum. Mary's gonna take one for the team and wait in line while I look around the museum real quick. Polo grounds, game used baseballs. From the Mets' last game at the polo grounds. From the first game at Shea. From the first game at City Field. Shea Dedication Ball. Hunter Oil wins. Jeff McNeil. 2022 National League batting title. Who? Uh, trumpet. The trumpet's in the house. Buck Walter. 100th win. <laughs> Timmy Trumpet. And there he is. It's a toy trumpet from the giveaway. Old Timers Day. Keith Hernandez mustache. Max Scherzer. <laughs> when he notched his 3,118th strikeout of his career. Gold base in honor of Keith Hernandez. Retirement, gold glove. Eduardo Escobar's helmet and his jersey. Willie Mays. Willie Mays' cleats. Tug McGurr's jersey. World Series tickets. Championship Series tickets. Cleon Jones jersey. Rusty Stobbs bat. Classic Mr. Met. 1969 World Series Championship trophy. Hall of Fame. Tom Seaver down there. Rusty Stahl. <laughs> Bud Harrelson. Jerry Kuzman. Ed Greenpool. Cleon Jones. Keith Hernandez. Tom Agee. And the kid. David Johnson. Dwight Gooden. Frank Cashin. Piazza. Stan Allen's own Johnny Franco. Strawman. Ron Darling. Fonzie. 86 World Series champions.
World Series champions, 1986. David Cohn. Ron Darling's Golden Glove. Bernard Gilkey. Keith Hernandez, his Seinfeld script. We're heading up. Opening day. I want a car with Mr. Met on it. Let's take a spin around. Amazing memorabilia. Get an indoor autograph jersey for 6,000. Where are Alonzo's shoes? 2,500. Lots of bats. Francisco Alvarez, minor league helmet. We got all that pine tar. You get that for 500 bucks. Lindor's helmet, 1,500. Edgardo Alvarez, dude, $300. Hats, postseason patches on them. Pieces of dirt, pieces of jerseys. Keith Hernandez, piece of a game used baseball. Wow. 45 for a piece of the base. Piece of a bat for Pete Alonzo. Bucket of helmets. Pete Alonzo batting helmet, five grand. Brandon Nemo batting gloves, thousand dollars. Ball signed by him, five hundred. Team issued batting gloves, hundred fifty bucks each. Or you can get the banners. Flew around the stadium. Game used bases. You can do a grab bag for forty five dollars. Get any type of random item in there. Dirt jars. Uh, kitchen with dirt. Grilled sausages. Hard lemonade. Hot dogs and fries. Coney Island Brewing. Views of plenty. Some field work taking place. Marlins out there. And cheers. Let's go Mets. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Hold on. Before we go any further, we should point out that gigantic new beauty out in center field. <laughs> Tremendous upgrade from Uncle Steve this season. Look at that. Food, food, food. Sold out today. Opening game. You can get your rice balls here, guy. Or chicken and waffles. Across Shea Bridge. That's Fan Fest going on. Ford Garage, Ford Tough. The suit jack. The back side of the scoreboard. Mr. Met is making his way through the crowd. He's wearing a suit today. The star of the show. <laughs> Look at that swag. That's Mr. Met, yo. Oh my god, Mrs. Met's here now, too. She was late. I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying. Just reminds you of somebody a little bit that I know. They're in love. Well, we met Mr. Met. Met Met. Now we complete our tour. Look at these Met's glasses. Pizza dogs. Ice cream. Gotta get ice cream just for the home run. Apple Bowl, Pig Beach. First food stop, chopped cheese. Chopped cheese in the house. Chopped cheese going in. It's a little cold and dry, but the verdict is not good. The bread was stale, the meat was cold. 
and dry. Look at the wall. Queen Story Verlander. Senga with the ghost fork. Amazing deli. Got like a little bodega here. Look at this. Cody Senga with the ghost fork. That is amazing. The biz. R.I.P. Goya, Oboya. Oh the polar bear. I love it. And outside, you get a little Mike and Ike's and Chickly Tabs. One hour before game time this is what we're looking like. This is the side of the deli. Look at this. Opening day. I love all of these details. And then it leads into this merch store. They have an opening day hat in here. Two of them. New York Mets baseball. I want. Don't tell Mary. What's the coolest thing here? Coolest thing here. Me? <laughs> Crowd is pouring in here. Ten minutes before opening ceremonies. Cup of dogs. Nathan's. Look at those guys. That's right. Six minutes to go. And this is the view from the Chiefsies today. Let's pray for a long foul ball. Seven line in the house representing orange jerseys. These tickets have a little bit of a jacked up view of the new scoreboard, but we're back here again on Sunday. We have tickets right over there. We do have a little view of this mural of the 86 months. So we finally made it to opening day. The whole big thing about this is, a few years ago, we were up in Pennsylvania, then New Jersey, and New York. We had planned to come back for opening day, and then COVID hit. We weren't able to come back. And so last year, we had planned to come back for opening day, and then the strike happened, and we missed opening day again. We booked tickets, we decided to keep the time that we had. Even though the Mets weren't gonna play, we ended up staying in New York last year. So we're back again. I just feel like this is like, Super, super long time coming. A bunch of years ago. <laughs> I'm happy to the point of tears about being out here. But I need a Mets win. When we lived in New York, there wasn't a time that we ever missed opening day. I've been to opening day since I was a little kid at Shea Stadium. And I'm very happy to have a wife that tolerates these ridiculous requests, even though she's absolutely freezing at the point. And it's only like 58 degrees outside. Opening day ceremony is ready to begin here. Shea. 
Don't screw it up. Fans, there's still one hard player left to introduce. Mookie and Tim catching the ceremonial first pitch from Bob Murphy's kids. Are you ready? Perfect song. Perfect. Time to get this season back on track. Killer in the first series. Two strikes on Solaire. Oh, the ground ball. Full count on Jazz Chisholm Jr. The pitch. Oh my. It's a can of corn. One and two. Mandar one and two, Nimmo just stole second. And. Oh! It's right here! Two and two now. Oh, another one! Look at this! Oh! Get Alonso, it's, up. it's back there somewhere. Perfect weather for the polar bear. Hit a couple of jacks the other night. Guess Milwaukee, Billy Wonke. Oh, she's just had a pitch clock violation. If you got a runner on base, you got to pitch the ball in 20 seconds. Without a runner on base, it's 15. Or not. And the inning's over. Third inning, back-to-back -back walks. Lindora. Another visit to the mound. All four, we want three consecutive batters. Peter Alonso up with a chance for a grand salami. And we might have a pitching change. Oh! There's about 40,000 people here collectively all willing that ball over the fence. Oh, and it's struck out. The flying squirrel. Got it, so cold. It's so cold, it's so windy. Two and two. Oh, it's coming. Thank God for that net. Come on, come on. Oh, struck him out. Three and two, base is jammed for Kana. Can I do it? Vogelback is up, and we're going to have a pitching change. Vogelback is up. Base is still jammed. Two outs. Safe. 
is. In fact, I barely came up to get some relief from the wind, but it's still blowing like crazy here. And the inning's over. All right, in between innings, we're gonna do the grab bag here. 45 bucks, the money goes to the Amazing Mets Foundation. You can get any type of game use merchandise in there. If you do this grab bag, the line takes forever. All right, Mary's up. <laughs> oh, get out of town. Game used pants. Uh, pinstripe's good. <laughs> Do you know who they're from? James McCann. Oh, get out of town. All right, our tickets gave us access to the Piazza Club. We're gonna see if we can get in here and maybe eat something. Or maybe not. But there are all, all kinds of seats and things to eat here. And it is hopping. There he is, legend. It is kind of crazy busy in here. But these are the views. Some Piazza goodies here. True Premium Vodka, sponsor of the Piazza Club. Now right, we've gone up one more level. We're gonna check out the Hudson Club. Even more crowded, but you can see out onto the field at least. You can get some bourbon or whiskey. It's nice and warm up here, but it is way too crowded. Wandering around the upper deck here. It is absolutely balls out packed here today. I love this Mr. Met hat. For the Disney fans, the Mets have Dole Whip. Also, filet mignon sandwiches. The view from up above, we're on the Excelsior level again. Nemo back up. Some jersey here, any name, any number, any legacy player, current player, or your own name. Making my jersey out of the way. Well, back from City Field today was a dinger of a day, literally. The Mets opening up, finally getting rid of their anemic offensive ways. Hopefully, that carries through for the rest of the weekend. Uh, we'll be back, City Field, Sunday, Easter Sunday, and uh, we have a little bit of a more upscale package on Sunday where we'll be. Um, doing the all-you-can-eat type of thing again with the Hyundai Club. But for now, we're getting out of here. Thanks a lot for coming along. Thank you very much for all the good likes, comments, and subscriptions. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Have a great day. See you guys.